takes me out of here Um, didn't go so well for me. Uh, in the single elimination, I could advance one round, but then in the double elimination, unfortunately, I lost my first heat against Graham Ezzy. I did some good jumps, but I couldn't really find the second wave score, and yeah, it was a pretty close heat. It was a tie break that um, Graham won because he got a better wave ride. But yeah, I'm happy that the judges are rewarding my jumps. They gave me pretty good points for my double loop, so I'm yeah, now just looking forward uh, to the next event. and. Hope I can do some better wave rides there. Yeah, the event was all right for me. I finished ninth. I did some really good hit, and uh, yeah, the sailing was cool. In all my hit, I was really solid, like really consistent. I did every time like double loop, and uh, in my second move, it was always like back loop no end or back loop one and one foot or something. So I was really happy about this because you know it, uh, last year I have some problem with my injury and everything, and this year I. I come back like really solid and this is really important for me. This year was probably the best conditions and definitely the best level of sailing I've ever seen in Pozo. I sailed all my heats on 3-4 which was pretty spectacular and we had decent waves the entire time and um, you know it was really exciting to sail in those kind of conditions and uh, I've been here for a month before I kind of made Pozo my home and always wanted to go for a stalled double the whole time and I never quite got the guts to do it in uh, free sailing. But then finally in my heat against Jago, I, I got the ramp and I had a good gust, so I just said I'm just going to do it. And I did my first ever that I tried and landed actually perfectly, so that was like the highlight for me, I think, of the event. And my goal was to do a push forward and a double in every heat and to do two solid wave rides, and I, I think I did it in every single heat. Um, in the end, I lost because I crashed my 360 against Jager, which would have been my second good wave score. So. That was a little bit annoying, I'm just hoping we're going to get good conditions in Tenerife as well because I feel kind of fired up now after learning how to do stored doubles, I want to do a few more of them in my heat. This year I have a good result, I finished seven, so I'm pretty stoked because you know it's not my condition because it's super windy and so different from home and also the level was so big this year, like everyone just were pushing so much, all the tricks uh, in the waves and some huge push forward and doubles. I think I've seen like push forward for the trials. Like I never, never ever see like push forward during the trials. So it was super impressive, and everyone improved. So I was pretty happy to to be on the top, you know, and and do this result. And I'm just hoping for good condition for the next event in Tenerife and uh, pushing as hard as I can and do another result if I can. It's my second time that I'm on the podium for waves. I was in Tenerife last year as well on the third position. Um, but I think I've definitely, it's my best sailing in waves, I think, up until now. Usually for Gran Canaria, we all expect for really strong winds and waves. The last two years, it didn't really happen. So this year, when it did, it was, for me, a little bit nerve-wracking because I don't, I'm not used to sailing in 60 knots. It was pretty interesting. It was very challenging. I got to borrow Antoine's 3-2 because I only had a 3-7 with me. And um, yeah, it's because of the competition that I really had to push myself to go in these conditions and still try out moves and everything. So. Um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty hardcore, but I survived. So, the third lugar de este podium del Gran Canaria Win and Win Festival. Venga, fuertes aplausos. Ellas son las mejores chicas en el agua, surfeando las olas y viviendo el viento aquí en pos izquierdo.